come into town for this one and get ready for another dose of NBA basketball on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan courtside with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg and our reporter tonight on the sideline, David Aldridge. Now a chance, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. The starting five on the floor. Taking a look at the Lakers. Rondo and Caldwell Pope in the backcourt. LeBron James is out there with Brandon Ingram. And it's McGee in at the five. Well, Damian Lillard has never been one to doubt himself. And when he plays, he exudes confidence. Has a short-term memory, which allows him to keep attacking, even after he's missed a few. It feels he is as good as any other guard in our league. And that's the mentality you have to have on offense. He might be as good as any other guard in this game. Got that bucket in in no time at all. Lillard's got five. And he can score from all over the court. But, but Lillard at his best from mid-range. He deserves extra special attention from the defense in that in-between area. But sometimes, even then, that's not enough. Working the in-between area, the kind of look that can get you into a rhythm early. Yeah, and I think all credit goes to that being just good offense. I mean, those are the kind of shots they want. They got them. Off to a nice start here. They've hit all three from the field. Now we'll go to David Aldridge, who spoke with Terry Stotts. David? Thanks, Kevin. What he said they're concerned with most is slowing down transition. He said those guys can cause... Well, this is something that Kobe has said in the past with the Lakers organization. It is championship or bust. Well, I think you need that type of culture and mentality to have a chance to win championships. I believe the Lakers have done a good job of maintaining that mentality throughout the years. And the slam dunk by McGee. He is just brilliant in that pick. The type for the new school big. And here are the trailblazers now. Following the miss by Lance Stevenson. Three Stauskas drains it from beyond the arm. Stauskas has got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. There's 57 seconds left to play in the first quarter. The shot's good from Kuzma. A reliable to say it flat out bad defense. Didn't even contest the shot. Lucky for them, he misfired on it. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. Trailblazers trail by three. Pass to Stauskas. Good ball movement here by the Trailblazers. Back to Leonard. Pass to Kerr. Kicks it out to Leonard. Here's Collins. That's good, and it's Leonard with the Here's Stevenson. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for him again and it's Beasley laying it in Beasley's got the second quarter going with the first basket of the period for the Lakers just over one minute has passed here in the second quarter here's Leonard and he makes the bucket through contact and gets the whistle too and when the size advantage is as big as it was there, I mean, that's exactly what he's supposed to do in that situation. For the Trailblazers, Al Farouk Aminu. He's the nice shooting ability of Ingram makes that mid-range J a quality shot. And the length and wingspan of Brandon Ingram gives him, Clark, so many advantages on the court. Yeah, it's actually what GMs and coaches like to see. His reach and size comparable to guys like KD and Giannis. Bothers shots on defense, and he can actually get his shot whenever he wants to. Because of his length, his upside as a player on both ends, I think is what's exciting for the Lakers. Being held without a point in the first. Lillard, the pass to McCollum. Good. Great play by Lillard. The first half. Third quarter starting here now. Brandon Ingram with a strong contribution so far in this one. Yeah, so far they haven't found an answer for him. A, a scoring machine here in that first half. Yeah, and it's been fun to watch, partner, because not only is he shooting a high percentage, a good percentage, he's also carrying the team. Lillard and McCollum, the Dick Caldwell Pope, and it's the Lakers on the break. Here's LeBron, and it's good coming on the assist by Rajon Rondo. Real by five. And last season, not a beat miss for KCP. Even after 
switching teams. He played his same brand of defense. Unfortunately, I need him to be. I mean, the steals are always going to be there, and he's a nuisance on that end of the floor and can guard just about any perimeter position. He's also improved his rebounding. Which Harkless comes in for Turner. Stauskas is jumped in for McCollum, and it's Seth Curry in for Lillard. The Lakers also changing it up. Kyle Kuzma comes in for Brandon Ingram. And Lance Stevenson subbed in for JaVale McGee. Connects from three-point range. I think the game is extremely physical. So I'm glad to see us move in the direction of toning that down a bit. There's enough physicality in the game. Here's Nurkic. Yep, it counts. And it's a three-point. Before every game to get the best out of him. Here's LeBron. He clangs that one off the back iron. And down it falls. James has got close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. And Greg, we've seen it time and time again in games. Effort and determination on the glass can make up for a lot of other weaknesses. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game. Stauskas, the pass to Harkins. Screen by Norkic. Harkless with the bucket. This again is the fourth quarter of play is set to get rolling. It's been a close battle to this point. Portland trailing here. And on the court for the Lakers to start the fourth. We've got ball. Ingram is out there with LeBron James. Then there's Kyle Kuzma. And it's Hart in at the two. He was all alone on that one. Lillard's got the first field goal of the fourth quarter here for Portland. They're, they're getting a lot of their points outside the paint. Three of their last five baskets are from three-point range. James in for another field goal. A sublime nine of 14 on the night. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness, Greg. I mean, if they don't, things are just going to get worse from here. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five mates are from beyond the arc. And, Greg, it's hard for me to watch this. I mean, the defense practically giving them those shots. Ingram attacking. And, you know, you look at Brandon Ingram, and he made some big steps last year in his development. And it takes time. You've got to give young guys, I think, four to six years before you know how good they can be and who they're going to be. He took on more of the offensive load for the team and had some big-time games. I think he's learning to be the scorer that the team hoped he would be when they took him second overall. You guys, really no ceiling on the other way. And here's McCullum. Pass to Lillard. Nurkic with it. McCollum outside. Hits. Count that one from Norkic. Make the right adjustment. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Kevin, I listened in on what Luke Walton said to his team. He told them that they're getting it done in the paint. He said they can't guard us inside, guys. Keep taking it to them. Pound it down low. Let's see if they keep it up, Kevin. By four. Outside Turner. And he's fouled on the shot. One free throw coming up. And guys on defense gasping for air at this point. Well, I'll tell you what, Greg, what can they do? I mean, nobody can miss a shot. I mean, these guys are bringing it on offense right now. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for Portland. You know, one of the big stories has been the three ball. It's been a key part of their offense throughout the game. Yeah, but Clark, the other thing that sticks out for me, the number of assists they made over the course of this game. Down low, here's McGee, and it's McGee with the jam. And when you're open, Rondo finds you always. And they're pushing it up. And it'll go. And the Blazer lead is cut down. Caldwell Pope outside. To the middle, here's McGee. It's good! That shot brings the cold blooded. Indeed it is. Love seeing him deliver when they need him most. No fear taking these shots. I love him. Big time basket there on the inside. I mean, he had to get that one up and over the big guy. Way up and over the big guy. And what a time in the left to play in the final quarter. So it's the Lakers now. It's a three-point game. James. Lillard with the rebound. And now we've got the intentional foul. He hits.
gets the first one, and that gives them a four-point cushion. Lillard is really a, a force of nature. I mean, an incredible talent who torches just about everybody with his scoring ability. Second one is good. Getting both at the line, and it's a five-point game. And thanks to his good work at the line there, now we have a two-possession ball game. Clock's ticking. they got to get up a shot. No time to waste at all. Got to let it go fast. Money! What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. Yeah, I like how James takes it to the defense. Even if they're all over him, he just muscles it. Drop in. I like the shiftiness of McCollum. Feels like he can get any shot he wants to. Very efficient as a guard. And this is why Rondo is so special. A proven champion who time and time again... One. Six seconds left to play here in the fourth. Six seconds left in the fourth quarter. And they need to stop the clock, so there's a foul. You have to foul, but I'm sure they would have liked to foul someone different. Yeah, but Greg, they didn't really have a, another option. I mean, I thought they did a nice job getting him in his hands and making sure he was the guy who'd go to the line. Those were pressure-packed free throws. And he looked as cool as he could be. So big to give them that three-point lead. Ends with a big win by Portland in a tight game. That was a fun night of basketball. And fabulous finish as they continued to wait out.